Um, let's just get a roll call. So me here, Mike. <sighs> That's me. Let's see. Yeah, I'm here. Mike. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> Matt. <Damn. laughs> too many M names. Yeah, there is. That's what. Too many M's. <laughs> can you just like We're change your names M. like legally? Can that? Can you do that? I'd appreciate it. It isn't even my legal name. <laughs> okay, Matt's here. Yes. Brent. Present. Teddy. C. Start the episode, Teddy. All righty. Welcome back, you heathens and degenerates, to another session of Dungeons and Duckies. Last time we left off, the group had just arrived in the lovely town of Fandalin, where they proceeded to the Stonehill Inn, got themselves rooms, got themselves situated, proceeded to head downstairs to the common room, where they ordered a meal, ordered some drinks, proceeded to get shit-faced, saying for one of them, and Dow got his flirt on, and that's where we left off. Continue as you will. Can I roll d20 to turn myself into a pickle? No. What? That'd be the funniest. <laughs> I mean, you could try like if you had magic powers, which you don't. You could try like polymorph. I think. Are you trying to be pickle Tarantino right now for an episode? It could be the funniest shit we've ever seen. Sure. <laughs> to I'm going imagine. to murder you on sight. I want to imagine <laughs> Slip and just sitting at the table, like explaining to us how he wants to become. Pickle. I would like to become be the pickle. Shit we've ever seen. Seen. Are we still drunk, or, or is this yeah. the morning? After? I feel like this is what we're talking about in character. Like we're just so drunk, we're just talking about like, hey, imagine if he was a pickle. The only one not drunk right now is Vigdis. Vigdis right. is just slightly buzzed, so Vigdis is completely yeah. aware of this entire conversation. All right, let me add one thing before I shut up for a little bit. Okay, guys, so my new idea for Ratatouille, the rat turns himself into a pickle, and they'll oh. be the funniest shit you've ever seen. <laughs> there's, like a there's like a scientist, like because he becomes a scientist, and he turns himself into a pickle. What's a scientist? A rat is a scientist? Don't scientist. What's the rat with a cook? Oh, fuck you, I know. What's a scientist? Is Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is cooking science? No. Oh. No. Yes? That's an art. That's an art. I think it could go both ways. Is no, art, art science? No. no. Yes. Are we science? Yes. yes. What is <laughs> science? It's. You ever watch Bill Nye the Science Guy? It's on TV. You can check it out at 8. What's a TV? What's so, a Bill Nye? <laughs> do you want to fuck Bill <laughs> Say that again, uh, Ranny. <laughs> it was absolutely nothing you needed to hear. I want to hear it. Like we need to hear. I thought I heard the word fuck, and I thought I heard the word Bill Nye. <laughs> yeah, I got friends who want to fuck Bill Nye. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> that was I was out of character, but that could be in character if you want. <laughs> and we're like, who's Bill Nye? Don't worry about it. Something's working on this character it. named Bill Nye, the science guy. He's this wizard. wizard. Yes. He's an alchemist. <laughs> Harry, you're a wizard. I'm a what? You're a wizard, what? Harry. I'm a what? Alright, I'm sorry. Thank what you. are we doing? <laughs> oh, so finish this dialogue from the from the rat movie. Is the rat a wizard? No. No. Oh. So the rat's a chef and a scientist. And a wizard. No, I'm kind of a scientist, but so Teddy, but let's for, for like two minutes. He's gonna be a scientist, so we can turn slip himself. Slipping, can I get slipping? I think that's a new. Can I get, oh my god! Can I get on the ground? Can I get in on the ground floor on this project? I want to be yes. in it. You want to be the rat? Oh, you want to be the rat? I want to be the rat. I want to be. Uh, I'm a little wonder. I'm questioning how we're doing the rat. Uh, maybe I actually think Duke I, could be a good rat because we, we can I, like put Duke in the rat costume. No, 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 think about it, think about it. All you gotta do is get me to be the rat, get somebody, like, really big, 
to be the human, and then like by comparison, it'll be like, whoa, that's a rat. That's a I'm really big. big. I am literally twice the size. size. Are you willing to be in my play, Victus? Yeah, we'll see. Well, okay, I don't really like that. I don't want to plan a story around you if you're not going to be in it. Oh my god, he's so fucking pushy. Hey! Well, finish, yeah. the, finish the script first. We'll see how, how the first draft looks. Mm -hmm. Can it be a musical? I don't know. What, 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 what kind of lyrics can we come up with? Can you, can you write the songs? Um, um, hey, give me a, a second, bar. give me a second. I need um, everybody, except for Vigdis, to roll me perception at disadvantage. Vigdis, oh give me a straight roll. Perception. Perception. Advantage. Don't forget to click disadvantage. Uh, if you forgot. Because I almost did. Oh, where's perception? There's perception. I got oh. 18 twice. <laughs> <laughs> did not help me. Did not help me oh. even a little bit. I'll take the uh, 18 from Ranny. Holy crap. Out of everyone, I wasn't expecting Ranny to get it. <laughs> wow. Because I don't notice things Wait, generally? Wait, we have all died or something? Or? No, just that. Because Ranny has plus zero. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I said. Like, I, am, I have no perception at all. <laughs> So, everyone's too busy to, in their conversation to notice, except for Ranny. Ranny, out of the corner of your eye, you're not sure if you're just out of it because you're completely shit-faced, but you think you see Duke talking to uh, a cloaked figure in the corner, but at the same time, you also see Duke sitting on the table in front of you. He can talk. <laughs> He can Wait. talk, he can talk, I can sing! Like, you don't <laughs> hear anything, you just see it out of the corner of your eye. But at the same time, every time you look at your own table, you see Duke directly in front of you just sipping his water. Hmm. So, there are two Dukes, or...? You don't know. Um, Randy, how many fingers am I holding up? Are there do Hold on. Have you seen this shit? Are there two frogs? I'm just looking at... Wow, look at that hair. Oh, I'm Slippin slipping. Is currently pissing into his cup, the bathroom I'm twiddling far. my fingers through Slippin's hair, and I'm just fascinated <laughs> by the hair. Hey, his beard. Yeah, yeah his beard. My beard. I'm twiddling my fingers through his beard. Slippin, no. twiddling uh, your fingers on his eye. This is tender. Patch. This is romantic. Jesus Vigdis Christ. What is nothing. this? Vigdis sees nothing despite being the sober one of the group. Slippin's too busy pissing in his mug. <laughs> wait, wait, he's I'm pissing in his mug while I'm twiddling his beard. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> You're helping him go, go pee. Draw like a nervous thing, you know? <laughs> That's an image. Fenno's just p busy playing with Slippin's beard. While wow, he's pissing in a mug. Gao's just messing with the dragon on his head. I think Vignus just right, does man. not care. I think Vignus notices, but doesn't give a shit. We no care. <laughs> Probably. Vigdis is more just trying to keep everyone from killing themselves with alcohol. Let us tell ourselves. Ranibo doesn't know if they see two frogs or not. They've forgotten how to count. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like, is there two frogs or one frog? I don't know anymore. After a while, Ranny, uh, you trying to comprehend why you think you see two dukes? After about maybe five minutes or so after you've noticed it, what you think to be the second duke over in the corner seems to just disappear as uh, you watch as the cloaked figure gets up and walks out. Oh. As Wait, you didn't you, you didn't tell me anything about a cloaked figure. Yeah. yeah you, did. you did not mention that. Figure. You just mentioned there being two dukes. Well, and yeah, then I one said, of them was talking. I said you notice what looks to be Duke in the corner talking to a cloaked figure. Okay, I well, heard I didn't that. hear you. Real life the can can Ranibo follow the cloaked figure out? I'm trying to follow. Wait, him. wait, Ranny. I'm I'm gonna follow Ranny. Okay. <laughs> I'm too busy you, with the you, beard to notice. Ranny, you're able to you, in your drunken stupor slightly realize that this cloaked figure is taller than Vigdis. Oh shit! I'm still following. That doesn't change my direction. Yeah. Ask him if he'll be in the rat play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to get in on it? Got in on the ground floor of a new money making idea. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. You want to? You want to fucking be in our play? I shout! I shout to him as I'm following. 
As you're outside the Stonehill Inn, as you say this, the figure turns around, looks around for a moment as if who's talking to them before looking down and sees you. Hello! I'm also here. I'm sorry, little one. What was that? You want to be in our play? I, th- I think my friend here has had a little too much to drink. We're, we're sorry to bother you, sir. It'll be a fun play. She, she wants someone tall for this play, but I think I'm tall enough. You have a you have a good evening. As the figure turns and walks up the road, looking uh, appears to be heading out of town. With Duke. <laughs> No, no, no. Duke, Duke's still on the table oh. back in the inn with the rest of you. Uh, now that Randy slipped out, going head first into Randy's drink. Randy uh, has no drink. Keeping your child on Yeah, the drink is gone. Drink. It's been finished. Duke's going for the last couple drops you left behind. He's licking the cup mm. dry. Is he going for Slippin's pee? Is Rano, Ranabo able to see this, or am I, like... Oh, when, once you head back into the Stonehill Inn and go back to your table, you're able to clearly see your frog headfirst in your cup, trying, I... des- trying desperately to get at the last couple drops in the I bottom of I remove the frog. I remove the frog. I hold the frog. <laughs> the frog looks at you. No! No, please, no! I don't know why you're suicidal. I don't understand. I pet Ranny on the head thinking it's Duke, and I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) don't be suicidal. (laughs) So anyway, Slippin, I never told you my joke about the guy peeing into a cup. Uh, Okay, let me hear the joke. Alright, so so this guy is at a bar, right? No. Uh, What? (laughs) Yeah, 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 yes, yes, I'm sorry, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> so he like goes up to the bartender, and he he sets a mug on one end of the bar, and then he walks up to the bartender, and he s- tells the bartender, he's like, "Hey man, I bet I can pee in that cup, all the way over there." And the bartender's like, "Yeah," I, I, he's like, he tells the bartender, "I'll give you two hundred bucks, I can pee in that cup over there." Okay. The bartender's like, "Yeah, I'll take you on that bet." So the guy gets up on the bar, and he pees everywhere. He pees on the floor, he pees on the bottles, he pees on the bartender's apron, everywhere except the cup. And the bartender just starts laughing. So the dude walks over to the corner, talks to some people in the corner, comes back and gives the guy 200 bucks. The guy's like, yeah, okay, great, but what was all that about? The guy said, I bet those guys in the corner 500 bucks. I could pee all over your bar, and you wouldn't be mad. You'd laugh about it. Nah, I've heard it before. Oh. So during that whole conversation, the slip and still peeing in that mug. <laughs> the entire time. His, how, his how, dick how is just out. When was the last time this man peed? Okay, so how long are we going to be drunk, and how long is it going to take uh, well, God here to keep the plot moving? We, we need to be <laughs> sleeping at the end, so then the next day can come come and rise up. Yeah, you know? I have yet to hear anyone saying they want to go to bed. Probably should go to bed. Oh, oh boy, I'm so tired. Oh boy. Usually, I, uh, listen. Here's the thing. Here's what I was expecting. I was expecting to be blackout drunk. I was expecting to wake up later and not remember going to bed. <laughs> oh, you're not going to remember. Everything oh. that just happened, everyone except Vigdis and Duke is going to forget. I see. Um, Slippin picks up Dow and takes him up to his room and maybe I, I was the one you were seducing this whole time. And they go, <laughs> <laughs> I, put- I can't decide whether this ship is creepy or not because, like, you are older, but you're also the same age. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you are both the same age and also have a huge age gap, and I don't. It's, it's fucking. <laughs> Time time paradoxes are fucky, man. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. like reverse Twilight. Which means there aren't any rules for this sort of situation, so there really is no judging allowed, okay? Dao and Slippin' are the only friends each other ever had. Dao's an adult, he can take care of himself. Mm-hmm. Ranabo is going to fucking bed. Fenno, yeah. Fenno puts his arm around <laughs> air, thinking there's a person there, thinking like he's bringing a, a woman back into his into his room. <laughs> <laughs> but once he enters his room, he just passes face first into the bed and, and sleeps. You um, all return to your rooms for the night. Dao thinking it's with a beautiful woman. Venno thinking it's a beautiful woman. 
Ranny just being Ranny, and Vic just, just watching all of these uh, what is that alcoholics. To mean? So wait, did did Finno and Dow go to bed together, no. thinking they were with no. a beautiful woman? No, you're not catching up. No, no, no. Wait, Dow and Finno went together. <laughs> yeah, but we, but we both thought that we were a beautiful woman. Who was slipping, picking up then? I like that. Uh, I like I like that idea. I want to go with that one, Teddy. Dow, <laughs> what? That Dow and Finno go to bed together? Yeah, but like we we, we thought that we nothing were... happened. We're just sleeping in the so same cute. bed. No, you... but but I thought he was a beautiful woman. He thought I was a beautiful woman. I mean, to be fair, Fenno is an elf. Elves are very feminine. Looking. Fenno is very dumb. Pretty. Thick. You're both the prettiest. Uh, aside from Randy, you two are the prettiest in the party. Thanks. And also the speaking. Thank speaking. You. Yes, Vic, this is pretty ugly, honestly. And yeah. also, to be fair, you both had a pretty good night. Yeah. Yep. So and also, yeah. Vigdus is pretty ugly. I guess Slippin oh. just jerked off. Randy would room. kill you for saying that. <laughs> Not kill you, but would, like, hit kill you, you very hard. Yeah. And also, Vigdus is pretty ugly. Eh, so... Vigdus come up with that. Dow and Fenno return to the same bedroom together. <laughs> Flippin returns to his room, still holding the pitch-filled mug. I just wanted to know, this, this party is going to end in a fucking polycule. Jesus Christ. Oh, my oh I'm already planning on it. Don't worry. <laughs> Ran, yeah, but Vic is pretty ugly. Ranny returns to their room with Duke. Duke just carrying his small cup of water. <laughs> That's adorable. V yeah. Vigdis, after a while... Returns to uh, her room after watching everyone go about their way. Uh, all the patrons of the inn for the moment uh, leaving, and that's the end of these uh, night's events. Before everybody in the next morning, save for Vigdis, wakes up with one hell of a hangover and no recollection of the night's events, save for oh yeah, we made it to town. Yeah, but Victus is pretty ugly. <laughs>